Silks and Secrets, Scotland's number one glamour store. This afternoon we're at White Craig's for the Premier 3 clash between White Craig's and DL. Both these teams came up from National League last season and after two games proudly sit first and second in the table. Stuart Henderson leads out the White Craig side. They're top with 10 points, DL second with nine. There's a lot riding on this game and there's a lot of rivalry between these two sides. And early on it was DL putting on a wee bit of pressure inside the White Craig's half. Ball out to Ross Donachy, chip ahead there. And winger Anthony Mitchell after it. And a wee bit of a guddle, did he get a hand to it? No, saved there by William Corbett. The White Craig's full back. DL keeping up the pressure though. Looking for a pick up here by number eight. They've got it, Craig Simmons to scrum half Ross Donachy and Donachy over in the corner. Yep. Perfect wee back row move to set the scrum half up there for the first try after seven minutes. Not the easiest of kicks for fullback Robert Simpson right out of the touchline but straight between the posts. That was a belter. 7 0 to DL after seven minutes. Was this the way the game was going to go? No, White Craig had something to say about that. Big Nicky Blemeyer busting into that one. Henderson. Out to Stuart McGorian, lovely ball there to Phil Nicol, the big centre busting through, was he going to go all the way? Oh, yes, nothing was going to stop him. Wow. That, yeah, no wonder they're pleased. Did you think he'd scored the goal in the cup? I know. Nah, he enjoyed that one. Lovely run, lovely angle, well set up by co-centre Stuart McGorian. Simplest of kicks for number 10, Ryan Moffat. 7-all after 20 minutes. Nothing in it after the first quarter. Stuart Henderson out to Phil Nicol. Kind of speculative kick that one, but that made James Banksendale turn and trying to run it from a rather dangerous area there, putting the rest of the side under pressure. But oh, a smashing run there by full by Robert Simpson. Out to the wing for Anthony Mitchell to have a go. He beats one man and yep, slips inside Magorian. Back in field. Defence is there, but Diel keeping the ball alive. Oh, taking it into contact there, Ross McCauley. Maybe not the way he should have gone. He had men outside him. And he's getting a wee bit scrappy there. And this time, no way through for Mitchell. Ball goes into touch. Diel keeping up the pressure, though. Looking for a quick ball from that one. He's being slowed down by the White Craigs forwards. Big man waiting for it, taken on by Stephen Finlay. Smothered there by the White Craig's defence. This time they spread it wide. We chipped through by McCauley. And was it going to bounce? Oh, not quite getting the bounce for Barry Turnbull. He claimed it, but no chance. The referee Malcolm Curry. Great take by number eight, Stuart Pollock there for White Craig's. Getting a big drive on up over the 10 metre line. And whoa. Good body positions there. Henderson out to Magorian. Full back William Corbett steaming into the line there, but knocked over by the defence. Henderson linking with prop Chris Nisbet and getting some help from his front row mate, Ian Laidlaw. Big wrestle for that one. And referee having a very good look at it. Magorian trying to find a way through up to the 22. This time it's out to Ryan Moffat. Oh, he's found a wee gap there. Pops it up to number eight, Stuart Pollock. Again, the DL defence absolutely solid. And the ball worked out to the wing, but going absolutely nowhere. But during all that, referee Malcolm Curry had spotted an infringement. Up stepped Ryan Moffat and straight through the post to give White Craig's the lead for the first time. From the kickoff. DL putting a wee bit of pressure on the, the ball carrier there. Up to Blameyer, but he's knocked over by Fraser McKenzie. Ball coming loose, picked up by Ross McDonald, driving on there, laying it back for Stuart Henderson, but referee Malcolm Curry spotted something in there. Some nefarious near the well up to something naughty, and it gives Robert Simpson the chance to level the scores after 32 minutes. Absolutely nothing in it at the moment. 
as the game comes up to half time. Great take at the line out there by White Craigs. And the back row, Kenny McComb and Stuart Pollock driving in there. And even getting help from the wing. Graham Fisher giving it a wee dunt there to see if he can make a difference. But no, was it over? Was it a touchdown? Not at all, says the referee. Oh, you're kidding, said White Craigs, because that was the end of the half. Ten all. Scrum Magazine. Subscribe online at scrummagazine.com. Silks and Secrets. Scotland's number one glamour store. Oh, absolutely nothing into it going into the second half. And White Craig's kicking off and wanting to put a wee bit of pressure on at the start because they had all the pressure at the end of the first half. Ross Donaghy putting it out, but a wee bit lateral there by the DL Banks. And out to James Banks, and they'll really got nowhere to go. Flips that one up, but oh, snaffled there by Graham Fisher. And DL suddenly on the back foot. Henderson out to Stephen Whittet. Oh, back into the traffic though. Laying it back. Good quick ball. Popped up again. White Craig's keeping the move going. And this time, oh, flanker Nicky Blameyer and on his shoulder, Stuart Pollock. Oh, a back row in tandem. They'll be arguing who buys the drink in the bar for that one tonight. Ryan Moffat pops it over. 17 points to 10 and only a minute and a half into the second half. White Craig's keeping up the pressure. 10 minutes gone in the second half. Picked up there by Pollock. Henderson sniping round the side but taken out by the DL fringe defence. Looking for quick ball here. White Craig's driving it on. They've got the line in their sights here. Henderson beavering in there. Popping it up to Magorian. And oh, give him a sniff of the line and he'll get over. It's not often you see a man who's played in the Heineken Cup playing at this level. He did it when he was in Italy. Moffat bagging the conversion and stretching the margin now to 14 points. And it got worse for DL. Yep. Referee Malcolm Curry said, listen, I told you guys, and you wouldn't listen. Moffat again. Bang. 27 points to 10. And the L were never going to make up 17 points in the 10 minutes that were left. And as the game drifted towards the end, it was all pressure on the DL line. White Craigs with their tails up. DL scrum under a lot of pressure. Wheeled round there. And uh, big number eight, Craig Simmons got it away though. That kick didn't go very far. But he's winger in a lot of trouble. Nice wee offload there, but DL playing rugby far too far away from the opposition line to be any threat at all. Waiting for the ball to come back now. And you can see the expectation on the White Craig supporters' faces as they wait for the final whistle to go. Very close to the last play of the game now. The referee telling them to get on with it. Nobody's getting on with anything. Nothing happening there. And that's the game. White Craig's winners by 27 points to 10. It's really good game. Uh, we knew we'd have to work hard for it. DL came up with us last year and they beat us twice last year, so we knew it was going to be a battle. But um, I think the guys really fronted up today. We asked for 100% effort and I think we got that definitely today. It's a great game. So White Craig's go three points ahead at the top of the table. The only side in Premier 3 with a 100% record. DL, they move down to fourth place, but they'll be there or thereabouts. These are two good sides that have come up from National 1. This is Ron Evans for Scottish Rugby Television at White Craigs.